<clears throat> right guys, so I'm going to tell you why um, the school system and society in general does not like non-conformists. They want um, people to be conformists, okay? Now, I'm going to start off by saying, you know, some people think that being a non-conformist is, is brilliant. And um, if you're a non-conformist, it means you're going to go up to the top. Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. The way I see it is, you know, if you're a beta, a conformist, um, a follower... You're going to be somewhere in the middle, 80%, okay? Um, and Jordan Pearson himself said that most of the people in the bottom 10% are creative people, so I would say they're more likely to be non-conformists. The top 10% at the top are also non-conformists. So yeah, you get it on either side. Um, it is it is quite risky um, being a non-conformist, okay? Now, the school system is there, the education system is there so that you... Can work a job okay they want to prepare you to go into the workforce and work a job for somebody else um the the business owner the king as uh, um that last youtuber i saw said it himself so anyway so um you know uh i was gonna say yeah so you know so the school system wants you to be in that middle 80 percent it wants you to um you know um like when Ryan Trahan went to university, he was making a lot of money from YouTube, and um, apparently they made this rule where you can't make money out of uh, YouTube and be a D1 runner at the same time or something stupid like that. Because you know the reason they want to do that is because the, the the education system, the whole education system, it wants you in that system. It doesn't want you making money on your own. It wants you to be reliant and dependent on an employer. Okay, so yeah, when you're in the bottom ten percent the population um you know like a lot of these guys uh you know there are a lot of them are on you know social welfare a lot of them um a lot of them are employed a lot of them uh, are even homeless so yeah these people they're not really making a con contribution to society um uh, they're not working for somebody else not contributing to this economic system at uh, the top 10 percent, these are the guys who you know they're the you know let's say the, the business owners the kings the people who have the highest salaries um, I'm sure some people who work a job for someone might be in that 10%, but, you know, the guys at the very top, um, you know, they're, you know, business owners, uh, they're people working for them, they work thousands of hours a day, well, how could you do that? Because they have other people working for them, other people making money for them, uh, maybe they're YouTubers, maybe they, 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 maybe they spent 20 minutes making a YouTube video, and, you know, it's got, it's got so many views that, really, it's gotten thousands of hours of views in a day, so, See that's the thing. So um, yeah, the school system it won't, doesn't want you doesn't want you to do this, okay? Um, and yeah, that's why society doesn't like uh, non-conformists. Non-conformists are unpredictable as well. Let's talk about that. Um, yeah, so society wants a certain amount of predictability. You know, like you do a job interview. You ideally, you know, if, if you're conducting the job interview, you kind of expect the person, the candidate you're um interviewing to come in, be friendly, uh, come in on time, hopefully, um, answer the questions to the best of their ability, uh, be friendly, you don't want someone to come in, spit in your face, take a shit on the floor, um, you know, uh, slap the, <laughs> slap the interviewer in the face, you know, you don't want that stuff, you don't want that stuff, society is designed in a way that tries to force humans to act in a predictable manner, depending on the area, okay, do you know what I mean, so, and that's that's just the, <laughs> that's just the way it is, you know. Um, that's why you know people get culture shocks when they they move to a different country and they see people behaving in a different way to their own culture. You know, it's because they're conformist, conformist. You know, they're they're told, oh, you have to act a certain way, and they do that. They act in that certain way. Okay. Um, is there anything else to say? Um, yeah, you know, people people say they want non-conformists, but they really don't. Like in the workplace, they want creative people, but when creative people come around, they don't like it because they don't play by the rules, you know? We're brought up to obey certain rules and act in a certain way in certain situations. But people who just sort of ignore those instructions and just act in a completely unpredictable manner, people can't handle that, you know? And some people are so conformist. Like when I was living in Carrick Mines, I'd go up running. An old man ran outside his house and started staring at me as if he'd just seen a ghost. All right, now, well, to be honest, I think he's the weird one, not me, but, uh, you know, he probably thinks the other way, so.
just goes to show. Uh, is there anything else I can say about non-conformity? Um, yeah, you know, non-conformists, they're no more creative people. They're less likely to have friends, okay? I, I learned that the hard way, you know, people, people, if, the, if the, I've seen this before, if, if you have no friends, people think there's something wrong with you a lot of the time. Um, like, you know, I watched some dating relationship advice videos, and uh, it's funny because they say that um, if you want a girlfriend, you need, ideally, one of the things to make her more attracted to you is if you have friends. If you don't have friends, then she's going to be suspicious of you, okay? So, yeah, you know, if you have friends, that means you're a conformist. You know, think about it. You know, if you <clears throat> want to spend time with a group of friends, you sort of have to agree on something. You know, you have to compromise. Like, you know, maybe you want to go bowling one night, but uh, oh, all the friends want to go to the cinema instead. So, you either conform and go to the cinema with your friends, or you go bowling on your own. You know, that's that's kind of how it works. Okay, so, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say.